So, he finally discovered the truth of the X Loss. Now, this is a part within the anime that wasn't shown within the original part of the anime. The true origins of the X Loss, you know. And understanding the origins of it is one thing, but people always had their hunch that the angels were very mechanical. You know, it makes you wonder why were the angels mechanical compared to the other spirits. And that's because they were they could have been like Gundams, they could have been Transformers, but they weren't Transformers, they were cars. The angels were Transformers. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty cool. To be honest with you, I kind of wish that they would make Gundam size um, figurines of the angels from Shaman King because they look—they have really nice designs, especially the Lucifer one. You know, all the others are black and stuff. The Lucifer one is just um, black and gold and stuff. This is always the one that fits out. Is when I like people like the most, and. Even down to the weapons, which I do enjoy. A lot of people don't pay attention to this, but sometimes the angels of origin had signature weapons, you know, not just any weapon. And most people don't see Lucifer, not Satan or the other names, but Lucifer having the hammer as their personal weapon. They were a fallen angel, you know, and there's the devil and there's Lucifer and stuff. And a lot of people will um, get that very um, confused, in a way, from the Demon King. It, it, they even show it in Devil May Cry, um, not Devil May Cry, but um, Devil Man Cry Baby, where there was the King of Demons and then there was Lucifer. You know, there were two different separate de deities, but yet sometimes people see them as the same person, but they're not, you know? They're different between the Demon King and Lucifer himself, the fallen angel. Big, 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 big difference. Because apparently hell existed way before um, the, the angels betrayed God and stuff like that. Way before then. So a little knowledge that some people, you'll surprise, don't know about. So yes, Lucius gave the backing to Marco's company, the credit card company, the supercars, in a way. And Lady Jane herself, the Iron Maiden, She's an ordinary girl they picked up from. But she was born from a very, uh, well, raised inside of a holy church. But she was still an ordinary girl, and they used her as this, you know, thing of faith to take down Lord Howe after the attack of the invention of the supercars. Now, of all that, that came out, everything around Marco seems to be shattering until Lady Jane herself says, We got something nice going on here. Now that the truth is out, we can be honest with people and truly restart this thing from the beginning, but in a more way of honesty, which is a good idea, you know. Sure, a lot of things can be created from lies, myth, and legends, but if it's doing good for the people, I say, why not, you know? If it creates a nice moral foundation for your community, it, brings, it makes people want to do better with their lives. I say there's nothing wrong with it. It's one of the reasons why I do believe there's the positive side when it comes to religion. Religion has its flaws, like everything does, but at the same time, it does make most people pull them out of the rut. Some people need something to look forward to, something to keep their faith in, in a way, a, a moral standing, in a way. Some do take it overboard, and some don't. Some really do need it in order to live. And stuff like that. Where everything else in their life is empty, looking up towards this religious moral guidance does help them from the depths of despair. And it helps them, why not let them have it, you know? Everybody has their reason of living and let that be theirs. That's just how I see it, anyways. So after the little debacle, it turns out that it, the same thing that happens every time there's a certain event that happens, a certain crisis that happens on this island during the Shaman Tournament, more and more people will seem to come over to Yo and Anna's place to eat. It's like, okay, we have this giant major fight, conflict, now that we're done fighting, let's go to Yo and Anna's place and eat. Everyone just, just goes there every single time to solve out their differences. And little do people do know in the past, when it came to wars and conflicts, 
people of enemies from different sides would come together and eat or discuss certain things, you know? I remember seeing the movie Patri- The Patriot, you know? Even though both sides were at war with each other, they came together act civil to discuss negotiations, see if there's a way they can end this war without any further bloodshed and stuff like that. That how it was um, back in the day, and probably is still now, I'm not entirely sure, but yes, people would break bread of the enemy and see what they can do, and I think that's a good way of, you know, solving peace, if that's what must be done. But anyways, a shocking conclusion to this is that Yo said something that we all knew, but we thought it would be impossible. Uh, Lord Howe's going to win the tournament. He's going to win the tournament. He's going to win it all. There's no one strong enough to stop him this time around. There's nothing they can do about it. So all they can do is let him win the tournament, and so he can become one of the great spirit. However, this is not the case. The case was never to really win the tournament. It was a, it was a stop Howe. That's the true case. However, they can't do it by the tournament, so they have to do it some other way. By following him into the Great Spirit. He has become one of the Great Spirit. He will be protected by the Salmon officials, the Patch. And the Patch's true goal is to protect the next Shaman King, whoever they may be. Unbiased. Completely. So that's when they have a striver. However, only 12 can enter through there. With enough strong amount of four who can do it. So that's what the point of the tournament is, to see who has the ones who to be strong enough to do it. So, even though you're not going to win the tournament, you still got to rank yourself up very high in order to assist on this one and final mission. The true goal for the, our heroes is to find a way to stop Hal from becoming one of the great spirit or some other means necessary. And this is really why I like Shaman King, is that they give you an antagonist who is completely unstoppable. No BS can get your way of defeating him like you really do have in most shonen stories. It's not going to happen. There's going to be no power-up. And they've been getting power-ups after power-ups, but it's still not enough for a guy who knows about all of the power-ups. So it's a very logical way of how to defeat your enemy. If you can't outpower them, then what can you do? So, that being said, I'm looking forward to seeing what does happen, because this is something that even to this day, a lot of showings don't do, where the main character obviously defeats the main villain of the story, and that's it, until we get something about their kids, and so on and so forth. But Shaman King is probably one of the first, probably not, but the one that I know of, that has done that thing where they can't defeat the main bad guy. They just can't do it. Because life is not always like that, you know, where you just get this BS power up and you just beat them out of nowhere. Like they did in the original anime, where they defeated Hal. <laughs> Which made no sense. But hey, that's that's whatever. So anyway, so I'm gonna leave it. I am back. I'm feeling much better. I'm just having a stuffy nose. That's it. But other than that, uh, almost 100%. <laughs> a lot of people have been sick, so I hope you guys are taking good care of yourself. Eat your vitamins, take your medicine, get plenty of sun, whatever you can, because it is the flu season. So I hope you guys are taking good care of yourselves. This has been Matt Crown on Anime. Signing out.